Do you need me to sound bathe you? Like, give you some whale moans? <laughs> yeah, your whale moan for me. <laughs> Every chef knows there are unbreakable rules in the kitchen, but what happens when you actually break those rules? Do the food gods rain fiery vengeance upon thee, or are they arbitrary myths peddled from chef to chef just waiting to be busted? To find out, this highly trained team of culinary professionals are putting them to the test. Because this is it's Myth Munchers! Kitcheneers, Hi. thank you for gathering here today. <laughs> so we're testing out burger myths today, right? That's like one of the most common home cooked foods. I love burgers, you all love burgers, right? We all, we all ice cream, you scream, we scream for scream screams. That's what I'm talking about. So today we're testing out burger myths, right? There are a lot out there, and I think we owe it to the home cook to tell them what the best route to get to the best burger is. So they say you gotta use fatty beef or else your burger's gonna be dry, but I don't know if that's true. They say you should only flip your burger once, otherwise it loses juiciness. I personally do not believe that to be fact. They say that you must toast your buns or else there's going to be soakage, but what if not that, huh? I don't <laughs> it's crazy. No. They say the toppings gotta go on the top, but what's wrong with bottomings? Nothing. Nothing's wrong no. with bottomings. Not one Nothing. thing. Not one nope. thing. No nope. matter of preference. All right, so to illustrate <laughs> this, first we must talk about food and friendship because that is what it's all about. So I have created a collage of me and my best friend to inspire all of you for what the real goal is today, and that's connection. What? Why are you laughing? What happened to your muscles? Why are you laughing? What? No, the muscles are there. They're under the shirt. I just look, just Rhett's the buffest man in the world, so I look small next to him, but that's fine because we compliment each other because when we hang out, you know, it's like one of us isn't trying to steal the spotlight from another. You know, someone's stealing the spotlight there, smizing, but you know, we're just out here vibing, you know, and, and really that's what mything is about. Classic but this honest. isn't important. Stop looking at it if you're going to make fun of it. All right, here, well, here's, here's the plan. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Why are they laughing at me? So this is the plan today. So step one, I talked about people saying you need a fatty burger. A lot of restaurants are using something like a 70-30 or 73-27, yeah. but I really want to test out side by side 70-30, 80-20 versus 90-10 to see what the best meat to fat ratio is. Then we're going to one flip versus multiple flips. If you're cooking at home, you're probably cooking on a frying pan, maybe a griddle, cast iron, something like that. And people always say you should only flip it once, otherwise the juices are sort of gonna magically leak out. I got some personal theory that multiple flips is the way to go to get a more even cook. And then, once we figure out what the best meat to fat and burger cookery is, we're going on to the buns to see how much soakage actually ends up in an untoasted bun, because people say toasting it creates a sort of like membrane that prevents soakage. But then, what's a burger without toppings? It's still a burger. Do you want us to say yeah. something? Okay, yeah, it wasn't I rhetorical. Wasn't What's a burger without toppings? Uh, a, still bur a, bur a, burger. a burger. I guess so. But anyways, we're gonna test out toppings versus bottomings because some people say that the toppings should go on top. They're obviously called toppings unless you're at Cold Stone Burgery, then they're called mix-ins. But when I'm cooking burgers <laughs> at home, I'm always doing bottomings. I like to put the lettuce and tomato, all the other stuff underneath the burger. But again, I don't know if that's actually the right way. I think I may be creating stability issues for myself. Mm. You like wet salad, so it makes sense that you would want the burger on top because then the burger yeah. juice is going to leak onto the lettuce and you just got a wet salad inside your burger. But we're not going by preference here. We need to do pseudoscientific tests, which pseudo is the Latin word for real. We need <laughs> pseudoscientific tests to see which is actually better. So we're testing for soakage, we're testing for stability, we're testing for juiciness as opposed to greasiness. Do you feel equipped with the tools that you need? Do you want more inspiration by looking at me and my best friend? No, you can put the other one up. Before we get to this, we are going to write down our predictions and the winner of this gets a gift card. Uh, uh, to Red Robin when it eventually opens in full service capacity in 2027. Yum. I love Red Robin. Yum. <laughs> no bottomless fries. 80, 20, three flips, untoasted bun, bottomings, thick booty penguin. That's what the heck I'm about. Hello, my name is Trevor Joseph Everts. This assignment is for Mr. Sharer. The class is Mythical Kitchen and the date is the 30th of March, 2021. I have guessed 70, 30, multiple flips, to to toasted bun, with bottom ingredients, and I've drawn booger and me with swag. That, thank you, that's all. Okay, so my prediction for burgers is 80 for 20, patty, uh, multiple flips, toasted buns, and toppings. And that's me in the corner with my big curls, looking at that nice burger. 80, 20, one flip, toasted, top. Are you ready to do this? <laughs> are you ready to do this? <laughs> All right, come on, guys. Are you ready to do this? Yeah. Well, Trevor. Yeah, that's it. A. 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 Trevor, are you familiar with the myth of Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Yes, the porridge. 
the, with the porridge crack, but today our porridge is burgers. One, that's the story of an entitled millennial thinks she's owed a breakfast. Yes. And I disagree <laughs> with that. What I'm trying to say is, they say that you gotta use a fatty beef to create a juicy burger. However, I feel there's a fine line between juiciness and greasiness. So we're okay. testing 70, 30, 80, 20, 90, 10 to find out what the Goldilocks just right porridge is. Yeah. But except for burgers. Except for burgers. And also okay. there are so many myths surrounding burgers so we need to establish a couple of constants. When do I get to get in Papa Bear's bed because yeah. I'm very cold and I would like to snuggle up. You cannot snuggle with me because I am afraid of human contact. We're making a six ounce patty with all of these and we're gonna try and cook them at the exact same time and temperatures. We got cast iron pans okay. set up on identical burners over here. So yes. some people could use salt and pepper, but why use salt and peppers when you can use Tony Shasheries, the official seasoning of Myth Munchers? Not a sponsor yet. More lung damage. Tony, slide into the DMs, brother. I'm waiting. We gotta make these patties, right? We gotta make these patties. patties. No, no, and then we're also gonna use a single slice of Boar's Head American cheese, the single greatest cheese for burgers, not Kraft Singles, Boar's Head. And we're gonna put them on a plain white, untoasted bun, uh, no condiments, just to test out the juiciness. You ready? Yeah, let us burger it. Let's do it. Do it. All right, so here, to grab a grab a little parchment paper. This is a nifty little trick. All we're gonna do is we're gonna grasp some beef in our hands. Okay. We're simply going to make a uniform patty. So what I like to do is I like to kind of bool it. Okay. Oh, bool you're it. a baker. You're always talking about shaping. Yeah. No, no, okay. now we're booling. Okay, so you're like making it a circle. Yeah, so you make it a circle, then, get it here, and then what you can do is press down with your fingers and then shape the edge with your thumb. So many people these days, they're, they're really into smash burgers. I think they are kind of deceptively hard to make at home. I think a lot of people just end up making dry burgers by trying to crush it in there and cook it to about like medium to medium well. There's a lot of hardos out there who love the medium rare burgers, but it's FDA, disgusting. It's disgusting. I don't, you it's don't want good. like a bloody burger bun. All right, so we're trying to get it to about 30% above the thickness of the bun because we are going to get some shrinkage here. And we're just going to go single flip on the cook, cook it in canola oil, cast iron, bingo, bango. I think this is looking good. So we're going to pop that down into some parchment. Trevor, do you want to start preheating all these burners while I make the 80-20? Yes. So we're going to heat these burners for exactly two minutes with exactly one tablespoon of canola oil in there. All right, so what I like to do is I like to take it on the parchment paper and I like to throw it down and then I wait for a couple seconds for it to kind of steam and I can apply the parchment paper off. So we're gonna do a three, two, one, drop. Oh, I just, I took it off. What? I just, I was, oh, no! I was fine, rasping fine, fine. the paper. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> Tony Shasheries. Oh, we still gotta season more Tony Shasheries. All right, constant. We should microwave the buns for eight seconds. That's what I do at home. You want a good touch? All the constants are just the things that I do already. Do you want to microwave them? Yeah, yeah. Here, give me a second. I'm gonna microwave these buns for eight seconds. All right. And flip. Ah! Okay. What? That's lovely. So add the cheese, 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 burgers, ah! cheese, burgers. You already see the fattier beef got a much better crust on it than the other beefs, and that's because you're getting all the fat that's sort of leaking out, and then this is frying in its own <laughs> fat. That's really interesting. Tony so Shashery! buns! Break through the pain! Trevor, sure, I just think we need about another, uh, what, do you, what are we reckon, like 15 seconds? Sure. Yeah, so we're cooking these for exactly uh, two and a half minutes on each side. What's really interesting is you're seeing the fattier one is getting a lot more cheese meltage too. These are all at the same temperature. It's just you're getting all the fat that's creating more steam and melting up through the cheese. Fattier burgers are gonna shrink down a lot more, which I think is a really interesting part of this. Because you're seeing this one is holding its shape, this one holding its shape a little bit less. Yeah. And then this one's really shrinking up. I Trevor, let's pull these in five, four, three, Two. Oh gosh. Oh. oh. Okay, into the buns. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Top it with the bun, and then we're gonna let these rest for about two minutes. Then we're gonna cut it in half and eat it and see where we're going. All right, Trevor, burgers are set. I'm just gonna cut them in half. That way we can each enjoy half and we can examine this cross section and see where we're at. Which one are we doing? On the first? juiciness. Let's go fatty first. Really prime the palate. Look at, oh my gosh. If you squeeze it, I mean, this is certainly juicy, but is this juicy or is this greasy? Let's find out. Mmm. Oh boy, that's a pleasant experience. I'm getting a lot of grease coat in the palate. However, I'm having a great time. Yeah, it's very greasy. And also, it, it, it's more tender with the fat. Because the fat's literally like opening up pockets. I mean, it's almost so loose that it's like falling apart. It also got crispy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think that's one of the things people confuse the smash burgers. They think it's the smashing that's giving the crispy edges. It's really just the fattiness of the beef. I mean, right now, if you like breathe in through your mouth, you're getting all that fat. Okay, this is also looking quite juicy. Got more of like a medium to medium well cook on that. Bottom bun is like soaking through in juice. Oh. Mm. What are you thinking? Here's what I'm thinking. We're testing for juice right now. Mm -hmm. But I really liked how crispy that was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one is not really at all. But the pure beef fat flavor from a fatty beef. So far, I like this can't compare. This actually yeah. has like less flavor to it too. Yeah. All right. Should we even bother with underdog? Oh my. Uh... Yeah, I went a little rare on this. <laughs> uh... 
I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's still like, it's still like hot. Why do I like this better than the 80-20? Yeah, I think 80-20 sucks. I think the fattier you go on your burger, like greasiness be damned, it does not phase me yeah. whatsoever. I always assumed 80-20 was like the Goldilocks just right yeah. blend of meat to fat. I think we can call it 70-30, here's the winner. 70-30 for sure, it's way better. All right, we gotta get the message to Nicole and V. We're gonna do Morse code, but we're gonna eke it out like dolphins. Okay. Look, looks uh, like 70-31. Yeah. Great, okay, awesome. So it uh, looks like we're gonna be battling the myth that flipping a burger only once makes mm -hmm. a tender, juicy burger. Okay. So I'm gonna be flipping multiple times just to see if it actually like makes that mm -hmm. thing, you know what I mean? Then I'm gonna yeah. be flipping once then. Yes. Well, come on, Do baby. you want some Tony Shasharis? Not really, but I don't really have another oh. option, so I'm just gonna, ooh. That's nice. Whenever you're ready, I okay. think we're gonna slap it down. Okay, hold on. Okay, yeah, so you flip it halfway through and then I'm gonna flip it every minute. Yes. Yeah? Okay. okay. One, ready? two, three. I was a little bit late, I'm sorry, I was a it's, little no, bit late. No, it's fine, it's fine. I'm we sorry. still were in sequence. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Smells good so far. That's amazing. You know cheeseburgers is my favorite food? Is it? Yeah, out of all other foods, cheeseburger is my favorite food. What kind of patty do you like? Are you like a beef person? Are you turkey, veggie? <gasps> turkey? Get out! Confidence, confidence. Wait, okay. so I'm still waiting. Yeah, you yeah, gotta yeah. wait three I'm... whole ass minutes. Okay. Can I say ass? <laughs> What's your favorite burger joint? The hamburger habit. The avocados. Yes. On the on the sandwich. They're so okay, good. Okay, apparently I have okay. to do this one more time. Number two. Yes. Okay. It's falling oh. apart. It might have hit me in the eye. My burger. I don't know how I got over here. <laughs> I'm sorry. After this flip, I think you can flip. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna smell like a hamburger all day. I know. And I'm not mad at it, but I'm also mad at it. One, okay. two, three. Okay. Wait. Ooh, look at that. Beauty. Wow. What's the point of redoing my hair if I'm just gonna smell like a damn McDonald's? You know, some people really love the smell of McDonald's. <laughs> Go find that person. Where you at? <laughs> oh, cheese. We forgot our cheese. Oh my gosh. Put your cheese off. There you go. Yep. Do I have one more flip? Oh, just me? Oh, okay. Oh my God. I think my burger is on fire. It's like a war zone. Underneath though. I have a literal trench in my burger. That's where the cheese is gonna Maybe go into. Maybe the cheese will uh, spruce it up, who knows? The cheese is oozing Wow, everywhere. your cheese likes you a lot more than mine. Mine just it looks sure like horrific. Okay. Off. Oh. See that catch? Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna touch it with okay, my ready? finger. Okay, ready? One, though. two, three. Mine just has wow. a lot of burnt cheese underneath it. Wow, let's top our buns. Wow, beautiful. Whoa. So smoky. Look at our children. So let's slice these babies in half. Yes, and let's You want to try them. one flip first or you want to try multiple flips? Let's try one flip first. Okay, perfect, let's do it. Wow, look at that inside. Oh my God, okay, cheers. Cheers. Ooh, not bad. I like that it still has all that juice. Really juicy, really tender. Very lightly has pink. Has the slightest pink, but it's a good kind of pink. It's mm -hmm. not an offensive pink. No. You know what I mean? I'm a big fan. I'm gonna take one more bite, just to make sure. Okay, time for multiple flips. <gasps> okay, Whoa. Uh, what is going on here? Why is You're that? missing a piece is, right there. Why is 20% of my burger here and 80% of my burger here? <laughs> what happened what right happened? there? What happened? I don't know. The I cheese know. didn't even get in there. Really disappointing. Let's, okay. let's go for it. Whoa. Why does this taste better? It tastes way better. I'm trying to like like think about like Maybe it's the outside. It has like a little bit extra crunch. Uh-huh. But it's still tender on the inside. Mm-hmm. I was totally a one flip girl, but now I was too. Multiple flips moves on. No. Let's go tell the guys. Yep, let's do it. Breaker Breaker 642, Trash Raccoon. This is Sassy Spice. Looks like multiple flips one. So mm. we found out multiple flips work, which is exciting because that was like my own personal thing here that I really want to test. So Trevor's got another flip on that burger, but we're testing toasting buns versus untoasted buns right now. I used to be a big bun toasting evangelist, in and out toaster buns. Everyone says you got to toast your buns to prevent sogginess. <laughs> Trevor, are you hurt or are you just scared? <laughs> so anyways, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna toast up one bun in butter and then leave one bun untoasted. We're gonna test for sogginess levels. I'm scared. Are you okay? Do you want the cheese? No, not yet. All right, so we're just doing this simple, right in the cast iron pan. We got hot butter going. We're gonna try and create a nice crust here to see if the fat from the butter and the toastiness prevents this from becoming soggy. But I like soggy, man. I like when the burger kind of absorbs no. all the juices like a dumpling. No. You don't like that? No, because then the, but the bun falls apart when you're trying to eat it and you get down to like the last third of the burger and then the bun is just like literally, it's just like this thing. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah I love that. No, that's the work. You gotta squeeze it through your hands like a tube of flan. Ah. Why did you make me flip the bird? Ah. All right, the buns are almost done. I want the cheese. Cheese it up. Oh, why you touch? All right, all right. Those burgers are getting mad shrinkage on there. I'm checking the buns. See, we got some nice caramelization on these. These are just store-bought white buns, which are really lovely. I love good old grocery store buns. We're only toasting one side of these. I believe you should only toast the flesh side of the bun. Yeah, why would you toast the other why side? Why are we doing this? I'm doing this to block from the popping oil. Sometimes I go and I just do this in front of windows at restaurants. We got toasted buns. Those All are right, absolutely perfect. Coming out, right, get them in there, get it in there, get it in there. Get a burger in here, then we gotta seal it. We gotta let it sit for 30 seconds. There we go, nice oh, little Oh, that's my timer going off. Nice burger. That's my timer going yeah, off. Get, get it in there. Okay, and now we wait. Oh my God, I'm in pain. Do you need like a medic, like a paladin healer? I'm so much happier now that there isn't that much noise. This is so loud. It was making me so stressed out and I feel much better. I'm like, I'm chilling Do you now. need me to sound bathe you? Like give you some whale moans? Yeah, your whale moan for me. <laughs> I sure feel better. Oh, I hand's still on. All right, so I'm gonna cut this in half. We're gonna see if we can see a visible difference between okay. the buns as far as soakage goes. Because we're testing for soakage, and then also we can test for preference. Let's pick up here, pick up the untoasted. Wow. You see, like, you're testing in there on the juiciness, and that's getting a little bit of sog in there. Yeah. It's not bad, though. But then here, we see, like, the visible crust has created, like, a barrier. It's like yeah. a levee. Because, like, the butter's soaked in a little bit, but, like, that's not looking too bad as far as soggage is concerned. Nice, it's a juicy burger. Oh, good burger. Well, this reminds me of was a White Castle slider, which I love. Yeah. Those, those are all like textural. steamed together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like mm -hmm. if I was at a barbecue, yeah. I'd be really happy if they gave me this. All right, uh, toast it, bun, toast it, bun. Toast it. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you get so much that butter. another dimension. You got so much just like crispy, buttery flavor. I thought having like crispy beef offset by soft bun would be better. When you get the toast on the bun and you're getting like yeah. two layers of crunch, Oh. But as far as sog goes, like it's not the sogginess that I'm really missing. Because if you see, like the untoasted bun is almost like holding up better than the toasted bun. I think simply because we got so much steam in there from the yeah. butter. They say the fat in the butter creates like a, a, an unpermeable membrane. I don't think that's the case. I just yeah. think uh, uh, butter and crispy bread is a really it's good way better. combo. Yeah, I would say if you're like looking at them, it's about the same amount of soakage that you're getting. Like this one is probably burger juice soakage, but I think this one is butter steam soakage. Yeah. If your buns can be soaking on one thing, that's a good thing. Yeah. If your buns are soaking on the wrong thing. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Watch out. Toasted bun definitely wins. Do you want to tell him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let him know, let him know. <laughs> Toasted bun is better. Do you want to say anything? Ricola. Hey, you guys hear me on the tin can? Yeah, were you guys at an aquarium or something? Yeah. Lots I've, of noises. I made a lot of whale sounds. Yeah. Oh. A little bit of dolphin. dolphin. Yeah. Also did a little product placement for Ricola. Okay, <laughs> I thought it was a hurt seal. But... I thought it was a Tony Shasheries, now it's Ricola. Speaking of Tony Shasheries, so <laughs> we've determined that 70-30 burger blend works the best. We've determined that if you flip it multiple times, you get a better crust, there's more flavor. We've determined that toasted buns work the best, but now we gotta go for toppings versus bottoming. So y'all have set up your burgers to your liking of our variety of toppings. I made a nice burger sauce, and Nicole decided she didn't like it, so she made her own. Wow, what a it's metaphor. A, it's ugly. I, yeah, I put it. mustard Tasty. in it. It's I tasty. Tasty. So what I'm, gonna do, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna take the toppings and I'm gonna load this up on the top bun and I'm gonna spread it out. And then on the bottomings, I'm gonna go on the bottom bun. So the theory here, I wanna test for stability. I've noticed that the tomatoes and everything will like slide out based on where the toppings are. I wanna see what creates the best stability. So bottomings, I'm sorry. Uh -oh. I'm gonna go a little that bit of lettuce. Travers. I'm gonna go a couple of slices of mater. I'm gonna go a nice hefty handful of onions. So I like me some onions. Then I'm gonna go some slices of nice artisanal pickles. A little dusting of Tony Shasheries because I cannot Don't get, get on my burger. Of it. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna put my burger on top and then smash that bun down right there. Now for the toppings, burger going on the bottom because it's called the toppings because the toppings goes on on the tops. <laughs> Take me some nice onions. Wow, I'm just slapping these everywhere. Isn't the order different? Nah. I don't okay, think so. whatever. I don't think so. I don't think so. Hey, you don't get my burger. Point, whatever point, burgs point. your burg. Okay, so you're already seeing you, you got you're struggling to put the shredders. On top there. You didn't put any Tony Shasheries. Oh crap. Dude, that's gonna. No, it's too late. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Perfect. 
Okay. okay. Now, should we go toppings or bottomings first? Toppings. Topping, toppings. Toppings is is the traditional way people do it. So I'm gonna test for stability right here. So while I have it here, someone kind of like rough rough me up a little bit. See if I can hold, see if I can hold it. No, I'm in the paint. I'm battling for the boards. <laughs> I'm battling for the boards. Nothing can hold it. Nothing can hold me. Nothing can hold me. All right. Let's pretty stable. <laughs> Nicole really took a swipe. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Let's bite into it and see if all this stuff slides around. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not really getting my slippage. I'm not getting a lot of slippage too, but the, there's a bigger separation between cold and hot mm -hmm. because you're not getting the burger patty pressing down. Yeah. This is the mm. burger though. Oh, the toasted mm -hmm. bun, man. I think we're just all products of in and out Yeah. what I'm wearing. There's not much slippage, but I almost don't love the, te the temperature contrast. That's why I feel like bottomings might help. All right, let's test out bottomings. All right, everyone grab your bottomings. All right, someone, someone jostle me, someone jostle me. No. Can't a, hold me. Can't a, hold me, bro. Where's the good Beast side? on the board. Beast know. on the board. Sorry, I'm so sorry. You okay? Yeah. Okay. This one tastes better. Uh -huh. It does. Tastes better. I know, I know exactly why. Wait, I flipped it. Think though. about the sorry. first. <laughs> I basically just did the same thing over there. Think about the first taste that's hitting your palate when you eat this versus that. Two totally different burger experiences. That's why is it so different? The beef hits the top of your mouth, and then you're getting all that flavor. As opposed to this, where the first flavors you're getting are the toppings and vegetables. Wait, mm -hmm. this is a salad. <laughs> this is a burger. Next week, got a hot dog and a sandwich. This is a salad. This is burger. <laughs> but I know what you mean, though. Toppings puts the vegetables first. Uh -huh. Bottomings puts the burger first. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable how much better the bottomings are. Always bottom. Always bottom. Always bottom, baby. The bottom's okay. on the bottom. Everybody, that makes our best at-home burger a 70-30 meat-to-fat ratio, multiple flips on the cook, toasted buns in butter, and instead of toppings, we got bottomings. I actually learned a lot today. I didn't think this would be the outcome, but speaking of which, we all said what we thought the outcomes were, so let's all reveal our wieners. Because there's wieners on the thing. I believed, because this is what I do at home, that it was gonna be 80-20 with three flips, <laughs> untoasted bun, I thought I liked the steamies, and bottoming. But also, I would again like to take the time to reiterate the fact that Tony Shashery's Creole seasoning does indeed rule super hard, because that was good. And there's a thick booty penguin. <laughs> yes, I'm really proud of you. I guess I'll go next. I said 80-20, one flip, toasted, and top. So I was basically wrong, I got one out of four, which is uh, 25%. The F minus. <laughs> I guessed 80 20, multiple flips, toasted buns, and toppings. So far, the high score is two for four. <laughs> We're such good at cooking. My name is Trevor Joseph Everts, and I guessed 70 30, multiple flips, toasted bun, and bottomings! The Wonder Kid, he yes. cannot be stopped. That's me, I have swag because I guessed I'm all right because I'm built different. Let's your, go and. Your head looks massive. And booger. Well, I hope some of Trevor's <laughs> swag can all wash over you today, and I hope that we have taken the process of demystifying burgers, what, what some would call the hardest food to cook at home after all of these years, spending time with family and friends. That is truly the myth that munching is all about. And I want to thank all of my trained and culinary professionals here and abroad <laughs> for being with us here today. We have new episodes out every week. We have new episodes of our podcast, A Hot Dog is a Sandwich Out, every Wednesday, wherever podcasts are born. Hit us up on Instagram, at Mythical Kitchen, with pictures of your mythical habakers under hashtag dreams become food. <laughs> I guess that means we'll see you next time. <laughs> you rascals. You can cook up your own feast while wearing the Mythical Kitchen apron, available now at mythical.com.